Let's see. There he's waddling again. He's holding still now. And you're right over his back. You got to drop your aim some. He's moved in a little bit closer. He's he's just shy of 50 yards now. All right. So aim aim a bit lower, and you should get him this time. And he's paused with his breast right towards you. He's a perfect shot if you can take your time. And beautiful, you got him. smelly just to get I would it's it is really really worth it to yeah. to take the time to do it because if you get a nice a nice red deer in fact mine is probably about to wear off you know um it would it would be worth it because if he's calling he's gonna he's gonna be decent all right we're good now and I'm gonna use no scope this time. Eh, maybe I will. I don't know. <laughs> For him. Let's see. Yeah, but you you stay you stay in your crouch. I'm actually gonna stand up because of, with my camouflage I can get a look at him. Let's see, is that another female over there or is that him? They really blend in. Yeah, that's a female out there. She's about 114 yards, but he's up that hill there somewhere. Hmm. I've got the corner of the blind kind of in my way. Okay, there I should be able to get a better look now. I'm going to have to eventually get some fall clothes. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I do believe at the very corner of the field coming straight at us bud let me see if I can see him through this darn mesh okay that's that's another doe I another see her doe. Yeah. But with your face camouflage and your uh, and us knelt down like this and there's another doe coming up behind her. Yeah. So it'd be good for our spotting, for sure. Oh, yeah, I've spotted her. And the other one. Yeah, and then there's a third doe that's actually out on the edge of the field. Out that way. I see her. Yeah. Dang Boy, she's going to come right up and give us a kiss. <laughs> if you want to if you want to take her, she's... She's likely going to start along before that the buck comes out, but nice shot. Okay, go ahead, crouch. Now let's see if we can get him to come in. I'll keep on, and the uh, the next one I'll get you range too. Is that you or him? That's me. Oh, okay. It's like, damn, he's on top of us. Okay. Um, okay, let's see where he was. Oh, actually, that's him. I didn't know the females made that sound. I'll be a son of a gun. Well, this one's about ready to walk on top of us here. Yep. Hang on. Let me uh, get you get you a range here. She's about. She's only about 25 yards out if you want to take her. Nice shot. And that one is now about 25 yards and moving closer. You're going to have to <laughs> log out to get more cross bolts. Wow, you are a beast. I wish I would have been recording. 
I was. Oh, good. Thank yeah. You. Yep. All three of them. Right, let me, let me, let's just hang tight, and I'm going to call just a couple more times in case there is a mail that's holding back. You, there he is. Ah. I heard him. Yeah, you might want to hit a crouch. I was trying to get a look, see. Okay, he's actually turn left. Turn left. More? Yep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, wow. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. He's right out in that general neck of the woods. Wait so. a minute. I see him. Yep, I see movement. All right. Well, he's... No, that's a pheasant. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's the direction he is. Yeah, I, that was a pheasant. I saw movement. I thought that was him. I'm sorry, but closer. he doesn't quite look like a. Where the hell? You guys? Was... Oh, another female. She's literally right outside the blind behind oh us. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna get prone. <laughs> she can... she... Where is she? She's right off the corner of the... Oh, I the see her. Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on. I've got to get... <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh! That's all right. I, That's jumped right. At, I jumped out because I didn't... Ha I wasn't... I knew I'd, I hit her. I hit her okay. right in the shoulder. Basically, I'm going to watch where she goes, and I'll mark the last place she exits the field, and we'll, we'll collect her a little bit later. I hit her a little high, that's why she was able yeah, to get away. She's got a long way to run before she gets to the edge of the field. She may stop or she may go down. See, like, she's already stopped running. She's going to casually walk out to the corner of the field. She may even expire out there, depending on where you hit her. Okay, so she just passed out of out of 215 yards, which means she's no longer visible to me. So let's uh, hit our crouch because we've... Now that may have been her because this, the, unlike unlike the Hunter Primal, there's not really what you'd consider to be directional hearing in this game. So you'll hear them off to one side, or the, it'll, they'll sound like they're off in one direction. But but uh, yeah. uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you yep. see him? Oh yeah, there there she is. Let's see, is that a he or she? That is a she. There you go. And there's something moving behind the ridge over there, but I can't tell what it was. Good God, I can't believe this. The direction that you were facing while you were reloading your bow, but I'm not sure. Well, they move in herds, you know, so... The the blood says body rather than, than you know, heart and lungs, so she's going to have gone a little ways. I figure that way you can collect those guys and... and there's going to be lots and lots of geese coming through, so we don't have to worry about these couple of flocks that we're missing. That okay. was awesome. That was... I couldn't believe that. <laughs> Man, you are a beast with that crossbow. I feel bad about Miss getting her up high, but I knew as soon as I stood up and she saw me, she was going to take off. So I just oh, kind yeah. of, that was just an automatic reaction shot. I didn't aim at all. Yeah, well, they, she was walking right up to the call. Good God, that went through through her neck and into her lung. Yep. Oh, that that is a powerful, powerful weapon, my friend. And I figure you never know on my way out here, I might bump into a nice pheasant and be able to whack it or something, so. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I didn't want... That wasn't the shot I wanted. Okay. Yeah, I have not gotten the red deer before, so... <clears throat> I'm going to just mute my mic here for a second, so I'm going to have to kind of lean into my computer a little bit to see. So, well, let me know if it gets all obnoxious with fan noise and stuff, but with okay. my, my new mic, it shouldn't. I keep forgetting it's a directional mic. It's actually got a solid piece on, on one side to block off sound, so. That one I got in the neck. Yep, and here she is over here. And since, you know, you shot her when I harvest her, it'll count for you. You know, gonna, gonna, you know, improve your, your overall crossbow stuff eventually. But on top of that, it's going to, uh, ooh, what's that? What are you, little roe deer? Are you male or female? 
you are a little female. Okay, I'll leave you be. But not only that, but you know, with as you as you gather these harvests, you know, there's one harvest, ten harvests, twenty five harvests, and yeah. each one of those when you get them raises your hunter score. Well, also some of those competitions you have to get that for you're even allowed to be in them. I know. Exactly. Exactly. So all right. Hawkeye, distance six meters, body right lung, and uh, what's her weight here? Just curious. 165 kilograms. So basically, you double your kilograms to get pounds. Big animal. Yeah. Oh, you should. When some of the uh, some of the males, their their horns are just huge. In fact, that that deer that you were beating, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, get get the squealer out. And I'm gonna see if if I can call him close. All right. Because this could be very good for you. All right. Here we go. First, we'll give him something to be interested in. Now, I'll use the squealer. Should be able to draw them over here. Um, if you can, check your sense suppression. Okay. It's five minutes. All right. I would re I would refresh it because now I'll refresh mine because I'm at the same, and that way we can then draw them over here and. They change direction. Yep. They'll start moving in this direction now. They see they could smell us a little bit. The closer you get to zero, the stronger your scent becomes. Right. And they're all females, all about the same size. And the first one is about 50 yards out, and they're and she's coming straight towards us. Yep, she is coming straight towards me. I mean, dead on nose nose to me. Yep, I see her. So I'm gonna keep calling. In fact, I'm going to ease left just a little bit, so that way you'll get a little bit of an angle shot on her. Oops, except that was not my call. <laughs> there we go. Well, you definitely got her interest. Yeah. And I think we may... There's a there's a dark-colored one off to the right, and that may actually be a boar, but you'll want to you'll wanna definitely take her first when she gets close, because otherwise... Uh, we could end up charged here. Yeah. Oh, boy, that that dark one's actually coming in like like straight on. He's at uh, 35 yards, and it's another female. Okay, there are no boars in the mix, so right. they're both they're both moving right in. I'm gonna have to come up to a crouch with my bow. Good oh. shot. I think I, I think I hit her in the head. I think I hit her right in the skull. Oh. She's going to charge. Okay. There we go. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to come straight in at us. All right. Think you hit that one? Uh, not sure. Not sure, but I'm going to get my range finder marker. Yep. I know where she was. All right. I'm going to collect this roe deer to still... <laughs> Still here, <laughs> as you can see, it gets it gets excitable around these oh, here parts. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, let's. Now this is where it's going to get interesting because part of this, some of these will be incoming tracks and some of them will be outgoing tracks. Okay, here she is fleeing. See, she's already stopped bleeding. Right. So when we see blood again, it's when we'll be very close to her. Okay, that's her incoming track, I do believe, and so this should be her outgoing track. Yep. All right, I've got my 30 out. They're not going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I'm putting them down. That's all there is to it. <laughs> and it's locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold oh. up, hold up, hold up. She's coming right at you. Uh-oh. 
out 100 yards. There's uh, a hog straight out there. A little to your right, to your right, to your right, to your right, to your right. More. And a little more. There you go. Right about there. You should be able to see her. Oh, I see her. I don't know if it's the same one, but... Um, Nice shot, dude. Holy Thank you. Crap. Them iron sights and you get along like bread and butter, I'll tell you. Like my grandpa used to say. <laughs> Boy, you two get along just like bread and butter. But. Yeah, you don't. I've always been good shot. Not yet. Oh, creep. I'm sorry I'm talking about that damn... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He hasn't called yet. I'm going to give him a half an hour. If he doesn't call, I'm going to call back. Now, do you see any any of the original tracks of the one we were tracking right here? No. I think I'm going to have to go back to that blood patch and make darn sure that I picked it up. I'm going to see about this one over here real quick. Yeah. Wait a minute. I see her, I see her track. It's over okay, here. yeah, because I just, I just want to be darn sure that I didn't didn't miss it because I don't know that that might be her or it might be just another one of her group there. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm the track you're moving up on is a dome for me, so I'm I'm on her track. Good. It might be her because it's glowing right by her. Yeah, I think that's her. I might yep. not have got her with the first one, but I took her out with the second one. Yeah, if this is her, there's blood. Oh, good God, she's glowing all over the place over here. <laughs> it's funny that Poppy barks every time she hears the geese. She doesn't know what she's barking at. She's probably barking at this daggone game. No, wait a minute. Is that her over there? Or is that just a... Well, I'll tell you what. I'll stay on the track. You stay on that. I'll pick this one up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, one eighty-five, not too shabby. No. Yeah, this is her over here. So you just took a totally different hog. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh you my gosh! A, you are a natural-born hunter, man. We have created a monster. <laughs> oh, but speaking of monsters, this old girl's no small one. I'll take a look at her in a second here. Let me get this one. Yeah. I'm sorry, geese. You're gonna have to wait. The geese are going. Jeez, <laughs> you were supposed to come here and shoot us, darn it! <laughs> All right. Well, that's wow. You're gonna you're gonna have yourself just a heck of a hunt here. Really? I'm. You know, I'm perfectly happy if I don't if I don't whack another thing. Catching that that goose at 87. Now nah, I'm happy with that. Oh, I that's, say. I, I, you know, I don't I don't think that's a top dog type of goose, but I definitely think it's it's in the upper crust, that's for sure. Is it your personal best or is it <clears throat> You know, I honestly don't know. I I, I took a few of them and uh, then I haven't been back to hunt it cuz I wanted to wait to come back with you. Hmm. Ooh, excuse me. So Oh, she's I a lot bigger. Know. I'd have to... Yeah, this this old girl here. She's she's a serious one. So I hit her in Intestine and body. Yep. What was she? Shoot, I didn't see what she weighed in as. 191. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, with with the uh, with the boars, I honestly don't know. I know with boars, basically they they look at the tusk measurement and then they look at the weight and they basically multiply them both by 15, whichever the higher number was. That's what you get for 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 your score. So being that she probably has nothing in the way of tusks, she'll be based on her weight and a, and I don't know what the hog scores go. I know hog sco feral hog scores are different than wild boar scores. All right. Shoot. But uh, yeah, that that one this this girl here, that sound she made. That's the sound they make just before they charge. So. Got her. <clears throat> That's two. And there he is. He's on the other end of the field. I'm going to mark him with the hunter's mate. Oh, I see oh, him. He's, 
glorious, my friend. He's 131 yards out from me. You think I should take him at the 30 yard? I've got it. I can get him at that yep. distance. Well, I would go prone, and I'm going to keep calling him. <clears throat> we're going to see if, if we can get him to come in, because you go ahead and stay in your kneeling position so that you can keep eyes on him. Um, I'm going to see if we can call him in. Now, I want you to shoot when you're confident that, that you can hit him, because this fella is no slouch. I'm sure. And, and we're we're both gonna gonna cry in our oatmeal if if, if you missed a shot on this fella. Okay, we've got his attention and he's moving in on us. He is at 94. He's now at 81. He's moving confidently. I can probably get him. If you give him just a little more. Just a touch more. He's going to angle across and give you a beautiful shot. I'm going to get down so I'm not in your way. And you take him whenever you're ready. That's beautiful it. shot. That's it. Beautiful shot. All right. This, this fella's going to be all right. He's going to be all right. I don't know what their scores go, quite honestly, because I haven't taken enough of them to know. But from the look of him, he's no slouch. Look at him, he's no slouch. Beautiful shot. Unfortunately, I was down in the grass and wasn't able to catch it on, on my recording because I, I have been recording as we track the hogs here, but... Um, well, I felt, I, like I, I felt like I could have got him at 120 yards, but I just, just to give me, just the, more the precautionary. About, yeah, the thing about these guys is if they turn and run, they can really cover a lot of distance really fast and, and it can turn into a <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying this is this is no spring chicken here you may you may have a, a pretty incredible animal that you just bagged I've got to step away for a moment so uh, um, let's see 208 what I'll do is I'm actually gonna alt tab out and just get an idea of what they go because I honestly have no idea but I'd like to at least give you some notion of of where they stand right because because just really have no clue and and i and i need to step away for a second so before i do that i'm gonna so he's a 20 what was he a 208 208 all right well the so the leaderboard uh the top 100 on the leaderboard start at 278 oh, okay. so he's he's he is in the upper three quarters brother cool he is in the upper three quarters. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is basically, well, I'm going to jog my, my butt back over to the stand. And then I've got, like I say, got to step away for a moment. Because, like I say, I may still have a hog track. I honestly don't think so. Like I say, I just uh, wing that arrow at her to, to make her turn and run instead of running me down. But once I get over here, I'm, i got to step away for just a moment is all. Thank <laughs> you. 